everyone, welcome to my channel again. I'm going to be showing you today these brand new nail art brushes from Nail Artisan. I have five, um, there are more in the collection and if you just um, watch my video to the end, I'll show you the other brushes that are in this set. There are gel brushes and acrylic ones as well. Um, just a, a quick tip on how to clean these. Please don't use acetone. Um, what's recommended to use is the Moira uh, brush cleanser, which you can also get from Nail Artisan. And here it is, it's 100 mils. Um, and this is fantastic for cleaning your brushes. Okay, so the first brush I've got to show you is this one, it's so lovely, so soft. It's called the Boomer. And this is gonna be brilliant to apply your pigments if you wanted to do a pigment ombre, um, glitters and also gel polish ombre. Um, this is such a funny one. This is called the Fuzzy Hair for obvious reasons. It's like a fan brush. Brilliant for applying glitters to regular polish and I'll be demonstrating that later on. This next one is like a, a really fine striper um, or a nail art brush. Super fine it is, so you can really get some intricate designs with this one. And this one is a shorter detailing brush. And I'm going to be showing you how to use this today. You're really going to be able to get some fabulous designs with this one. And this is amazing, this brush. How many times have we had to trim our striping brushes to get them thin enough? This one, we don't have to do that. It's a super fine striper. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you can apply glitter on a regular polish. I'm using Hit the Bottle in Green Around the Gills and Magpie Beauty Glitter in Fiona. I'll put all the links below where I got these from. And all you want to do is apply two coats. Um, I'm just applying the second coat now of the Hit the Bottle polish, fabulous coverage. And you just wanna leave it a couple of minutes, not to completely dry, you want it tacky, but you don't want it wet. And we're gonna use the fuzzy hair brush and you just need the lightest of touches, just uh, tapping it on to the tacky layer of your regular polish. And you can see how that has just gone on beautifully without marking or smudging the regular polish. So I'm just sweeping the excess off now. And how easy was that? So perfect and so easy. I've just top coated it with uh, Sesh Vite or your favorite top coat. And look how sparkly that is. So easy and so quick. Okay, so I'm gonna use the fine striper now. I mean, I need a bit of practice, I have to say, with using a striping brush because, to be honest, I haven't used a striping brush in a while because, as I said before, I'm always, always having to trim mine down and they don't work the same or I wasn't trimming them properly, whatever. Um, but this one is fantastic to use. This is the second time of having a go with this striping brush. I know I needed a little bit more practice, but I soon get the hang of it. As you can see, some of my lines really do um, become, well, quite perfect. I'm quite pleased with that, actually. <laughs> um, I really like this geometric design. I just sort of had a look on YouTube to see what designs were out there with a striping brush, get some inspiration. And I saw this design, which was on an ombre nail, and I think it would look amazing on an ombre nail. And that was super quick and super easy again. So you can see how the brush is doing all the hard work for you. Really simple to do, but so effective. So a really lovely striping brush. And this is the Boomer. Now I'm gonna do a gel polish ombre and I'm using my Madame Glam in a pale pink and a magenta pink color. And what you wanna do is you always want to apply the paler color first. So just applying it, as you can see, up to half the nail there. And next you wanna go in with your darker color and meet it in the middle. 
So using the Boomer brush, just very lightly, you don't want to be doing it too hard because you'll drag off or pull off the gel polish and we don't want to do that. So really lightly, um, just blending in those colours together. And we're going to do three coats. So I've skipped a coat and this is my third coat now. So you just want to repeat the steps exactly the same with each coat that you do. So as I said, I'm doing the third coat and I'm just showing you again how to blend it in the centre. Really easy and simple, but so effective. And as I say, this brush is so soft, the bristles are so soft, it really makes doing an ombre really easy to do. And there you have it. Perfect ombre, look at that. But I think this brush will be brilliant using your pigments and having a pigment ombre, that would be amazing. So I'm going to look at the short detailing brush now. Now I'm using the Moira foil gel. Go and check out my video if you haven't done so already as to how to use this because I'm not going to go into it in this video but I'll leave the link up at the top so you can um, check that video out, video out so you know how to use it. And all I'm doing is doing a simple rose design. I've used this design before in my other video, but I just wanted to show you again how you can get super fine lines and how these nail art brushes will work with gel, they'll work with regular polish, they'll work with acrylic paints or watercolour paints and you're going to get some super, super lines. So I'm just flash curing that so that I don't ruin the design or smudge it. And I just wanted to talk again about how to clean these brushes. So after using this um, gel, fo sorry, foil gel, um, you need to cleanse it, not with a nail cleanser or not with acetone, but the Moira brush cleanser. It's the perfect thing to use because it's not going to damage your brushes. It's going to clean them perfectly and your brushes are going to last you a long time because these brushes, they are built to last. They're super quality, um, but you really do need to look after them as well. So I'm just going to finish up here and I'm going to cure that in my LED for 60 seconds. And now I'm just pressing in the magic foil. Really super quick, but so effective. And these brushes, as I said before, they really do the hard work for you. They're, they're amazing to work with. So thank you, Alex. Um, I'm super happy. I've wanted a really fine um, liner, so not liner, um, that's makeup, isn't it? <laughs> but I've wanted a really fine detailer brush in a long time and this is amazing. So thank you very much, Alex. You've come up trumps with this one. So there's all my finished designs. I've added a couple more in there as well. And here are the rest of the brushes that are in the set at the end. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.